Tai Tai Kapuso. Pero nang po ng 20 minutes ng inyong hapon. Ako po si Boy and welcome to Fast Talk with Boy Abunda. Maraming salamat po sa mga nanonood sa atin, sa ating live streaming channels, sa YouTube at Facebook, at sa lahat po ng nakikinig sa Dizzy Double B, Welcome to Fast Talk with Boy Abunda. I am excited. I am talking to one of the most brilliant actors in the country. And um, I haven't seen him in a while. Isang kwentuhan po. At uh, siguradong marami ako matututunan dahil gusto kong umarte ngayong hapon. Nay, tayo ka po. So please welcome Sid Lucet. Thank you so much. No! It's been a while. <laughs> Maraming salamat. How are you? Very good. I'm super good. Hindi ko alam para na-describe. Okay. Dito natin umpisahan. Um, Tim Sid. <laughs> yes. Okay, your family calls you Tim, your close friends uh, call you Timmy. And, uh, pero bakit naging Sid Lucero ang iyong pangalan? Well, nung pinag-iisipan pa lang nung namin ng dad ko na pumasok ko sa industriya, actually nakilala ko na yung manager. Dad, ko. Mark Hill po. Mark Hill, that's right. I call him Ralph. That's right. Mm -hmm. Tapos sabi lang niya, as a joke, we were watching random things lang. Tapos sabi niya, why don't you change your last name? Diba? Parang si Angelina Jolie. Did you know that uh, John Voight's her father? Sabi ko, oh, hindi ko alam yun, ha? And then we mentioned it to Ricky. Ricky gave a whole list. Tapos, We're alam talking ko, about Ricky Galliardo. Ricky Galliardo, yung, yung okay, manager ko. Yeah. Manager of uh, Sid. Tapos, alam ko may mga kinalangan kami gawin nung araw na yan, eh. And on the way home and on the way to wherever I needed to be, parang we went through all the names and finally he parked and he's like, well, what about Sid Lozero? And I'm like, I know that. I, I know that movie. At least there's a story. He met my mom in that movie. Let's do that. Yeah, yun na lang. <laughs> so, wala na. Wala yun na. na. So, yun Turong na. Ka na, na, lang, ka na. Sid Lucero. Mm. But let's go to Bats 81. Yeah. Yung pelikulang pinag-uusapan natin kung saan gumanap uh, ang yung uh, tatay bilang uh, Sid. Sid. Isidro, okay. Isidro Lucero. Right. Yes. And uh, Bats 81, I think... Um, remains to be one of the best movies in Philippine cinema. Pag napapanood mo yan, your mom is there, your dad is there, what goes on in your mind? Uh, a lot eh. It's, it's, it, but the first time I saw my mom, medyo, na, medyo weird kasi parang hindi ko kilala yung babaeng yun eh. I've never seen her at that age. Okay. And she looks different, yung itsura niya, the way she spoke. And then to see her interact with my dad niya, that guy. <laughs> Nakakatawa lang talaga. It, it's, it's strange. Tapos it makes me think about kung paano sila gumawa ng pelikula nung mga araw na yan. And kung makakagawa pa ako ng pelikula ganyan. Pag napapanood mo siya, um, may, may deliberate effort ka ba na I wanna do it differently or I, I wanna do it the same way he does it? Uh, <clears throat> it's funny that you mentioned that because pag napapanood ko yung dad ko, ang unang pumapasok sa akin is bakit kanyo yung style niya? <laughs> ah, talaga? I don't even think I'm a fan. I'm, but for some reason, really? when I watch him, I know why he does it that way. I know why it works. But I don't consider myself as a fan of my dad. Parang I feel like his style is very different from mine. Iklaro mo ngayon. Okay. That's interesting. Halimbawa, there's a line. I mean, para mas maunawaan lang natin. There's a line that says, uh, you, you're mad with me. Uh, and you say, umalis ka nga. No, no, really. I wanna, yeah, I wanna okay, find okay, Umalis yeah. ka dito dahil uh, nakaka-insulto ka na at uh, uh, wala kang karapatang gawin ito. How yeah. would your dad do it? My dad would probably like really smolder and then like look at you and said, pwede ba umalis ka na dito? Nakakainas ka na eh. Wala ka ng respeto eh. And he'll keep it like that and it's just all the eyes. Okay. But for me, it's more like, I, I kind of feel it more and I, I, I base it on me more because I believe that kung doon ka manggaling as your real self, it, it becomes more truthful. So it's more like, uh, it sounds more like, pwede ba umalis ka na nga dito? Ang basus mo na magsalita eh. Pwede ba? Kasi masasak. Di ba? It's more for okay. me, but my dad is more sexy and more and smoldering and... Uh Oo. -oh. <laughs> uh, no, at saka may, may katahimika na ganun. Yeah. Na yeah. parehong nakakatakot. Uh, yeah. Uh, kind of edgy to yeah. a certain uh, yeah. point, no? Ang napansin ko kay dad, tuwing ina-attake niya isang character, it's far from him. He likes to create things from, it's, it's from the things that he looks up to and the things he doesn't like, but it's very far from him. How was he as a father? To oh, you? To me? That's, medyo mahirap sagutin, lalo na, um, baka kasi ma hindi maintindihan ng ibang tao. Pero, Pero i-context si, natin. Si dad kasi was, 
dad did not have th that big of a chance to become a father to me and my sister when we were growing up. Because, syempre, may sarili siyang buhay with my mom and may mga nangyari, naghiwalay kami. So, even if she wanted to, hindi rin naging madali para sa kanya maging tatay para sa amin. Because we moved to Cebu, eh. Yeah, and nandun, I he, know that. He, he stayed in but question, did you resent it? In the beginning, I felt Nagalit like, ka sa yes, kanya. and I think natural na epekto lang yan ang kapag naghihiwala yung mga magulang sa bata, parang ang nangyayari, either kasalanan ko ba, tapos kung hindi maninyo Kas talaga... Kasalanan ng anak? Ng anak, or okay. bakit yun yung naging decision mo? Love is love, we have to fight for it, mga ganyan. And then, as I grew up, nagmamature din yung pagtingin ko dun sa... Situation na yun, kung did ano you nangyari. express that? Oh yes, Ralph. yes. You did. Yeah, I expressed it to my mom. I expressed, I expressed it to my dad later on when we were of, when I was of the drinking age na. And then I think without knowing so, hindi ko sinasadya. Lumabas din yun sa school, kasi hindi ko alam. Reaction na, ni Ralph ng tatay mo. Oh, my dad was much older, and he was talking to a someone who was basically walking into manhood. No, but so, did he understand? Oh, yeah. He had he understood to, the wala, way you were acting Wala siya masabi. Wala oh, siya okay. masabi. Let's talk about love uh, before sunrise. Sure. Let's talk about it. I mean, uh, kumusta? Because you're acting with uh, Dennis Trilly, who I think is one of the best actors in this country. I agree. You have a Bea Alonso. You know, and what's so magical about Dennis? Pagkausap mo, parang... <laughs> wala lang. Wala lang. Like, okay. okay. <laughs> Pero pag pinaarte mo, parang <laughs> sinasapian, no? You have Dennis, you have a Bea Alonso. You have an Andrea Torres. How how is it? It's fun. It's it's that's that's a kind of environment. I would gusto ko talaga yung environment niya pag umaarte ako. Eh. Paano ka bilang aktor pag ang kaeksena mo ay Dennis Trillo dito sa Love Before Sunrise? Okay, I noticed that Dennis is very he's smoldering too and he's very he's very everything's implosive and inside. Nasa loob. Everything's inside okay. and then he talks with his eyes and he he likes to uh, squeeze every syllable out of every word. Papa, ano? Uh, bale. Just si... do a line. I, 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 I want to hear how how he does his syllables. Nandiyan po ba si Bea? Pwede ko bang makausap? Parang ganun eh. Ganun. Very, uh, mm -mm. he likes every syllable. So, just to contrast, contrast um, since yun yung wavelength niya, I try to either go the cadence is a bit faster or there's more life in the way I do it just to change it. But Pero, that has nothing to do with because I think it's better this way. I no, think no, just, I know. just to balance out what's happening on the screen. So that's Dennis. What yeah. about Bea? Okay. What Bea is different. Never go to si Bea and I've met her in passing a number of times before. And ang hindi ko siya kilala masyado bilang artista. I know that my mom had worked for her, with her before. Tapos, I see some of her movies. But in TV, not so much because I'm usually okay. working. Eh. But man, <laughs> I've never met anyone like her. Talaga? <laughs> yeah. Ba bakit? Paano? She's, I love her. <laughs> she's amazing. Uh -oh. She never feels like she's got anything personal going on because when she's at work, Kung ano yung kailangan gawin, yun lang yung kailangan gawin. Kahit kausapin mo siya, wala siyang dinadalang kahit anong baggage from anywhere. What about Andrea? Oh, I love Andrea. That's why I'm so sad because nakatrabaho ko na si Andrea dati. And we had an entire show. Tapos from like, lovey-dovey to rar. So, dinaan na talaga namin lahat ng emotions. And then now, hindi kami nagkaka-eksena. Once love. Uh, okay. Hi, hello, love kami. Tapos I, bye. I yeah. love the girl. I Me think too. She's, uh, I love her. Yeah, she's fantastic. Yeah, you know? she's a, she's got a lot to give. She's fun. To, she's fun to watch here. Yeah. No, I got that sense of honesty of this girl. Yeah. Cause it's so collaborative. I mean, acting yes. is so uh, collaborative. Yes. Na kahit anong bigay mo, kailangan talaga may pag-uusap din na yes. saan ba tayo pupunta? Yes. Magkasama tayo dito. Yes. Eh. This is yes. a journey that we're taking on yes. together. Yes. Diba? <laughs> Just like Fast Talk. We're going to do Fast Talk. <laughs> oh no! This is where I stumbled the last time. I know. Ito na yan. We're going to do Fast Talk and we have two minutes to do this and our time begins now. Sid o si Sid? Si, 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 si. <laughs> Lucero, Eigenman. Eigenman. Killer smile, killer instinct. Killer instinct. Ponyo, canto boy. Canto boy. <laughs> canto boy. <laughs> Good boy, pasaway. Pasaway. Bea Andrea. 
Ay, Bea. May ito here. Mas pogi, Dennis o ikaw? Dennis. Maghihintay, ta uh, tatagay? Maghihintay. Maghahabol, magpaparaya? Magpaparaya. Paboritong pelikulang nagawa mo? <laughs> Mahirap yun. Mahirap yun. Yeah. Least... Apocalypse Head. Ah, okay. L least favorite film na nagawa mo? Ha? Huh? Uh, bitas. Sa mga Iron Man, sino ang pinaka-close mo? Jeff Eigenman. Sino ang lagi mong kaaway? Jeff Eigenman. <laughs> Sino ang pinakamagaling? Ah, oh, sheesh. Maxine Eigenman. Sino ang pinakamayaman? Gabi Eigenman. <laughs> <laughs> Oo, hindi. Laging late. Ah, hindi na. Oo, hindi. Mabilis mapikon. Hindi na rin. Oo, hindi. May nakaaway na artista. Oo. <laughs> Oo, hindi. Napagalitan na ng direktor. Oo. Gagawa ng, uh, gagawing pelikula ang buhay mo. Anong title? Yes. <laughs> Sisid. Ang <laughs> ganda yun. Sino ang direktor? Ikaw! <laughs> Sino ang gaganap sa'yo? Ah, yun ang hindi ko alam. Patay tayo dyan. Okay, Miss Tiza Morena. Any. Tall, petit. Petit. Makinis, maputi. Pareho. Matamis, maalat. Matamis. Sunrise or sunset? Sunrise! Lights on or lights off? Lights on. Happiness or chocolate? Happiness. Best time for happiness? All the time. Complete the sentence. Love before sunrise is... The best kind of love. <laughs> is the best kind of love. <laughs> Sid, a couple of questions. <laughs> Bakit ang uh, love before sunrise... Uh, the best kind of love. And what is love after sunrise? You dated Heart Evangelist at one point. Yeah, was How was slightly. that experience? Ang kasagutan. So, magbabalik po ng Fast Talk with Boy Abundo. <laughs> Kami nagbabalik po dito sa Fast Talk with Boy Abunda. Kasama pa rin po natin uh, Sid Lucero. Timmy. Yes. Love, uh, sabi mo, before <sighs> sunrise is the best kind of love. Yeah. Uh, and if that is the best kind of love, anong ibig mo sabihin? At ano naman ang love before sunrise? I, I honestly <laughs> say, don't know what I meant when I said that. Oh, <laughs> I don't know how to answer the question. How did it, what, just I just came said it. Yeah. yeah, it's the best Fast kind of love. Of course, di ba? I don't even know what they mean by love before sunrise. Uh, ang hirap, no? Yeah, the way I take it, at least, from the way I experience Roald is... There's nothing like a, a mature, like one that has gone through everything and before. I believe because you don't have another person make you whole. Yeah. And I'm already 40 and I'm still getting myself together. So that's when you present yourself to someone. Okay. Not when you rely on the other person. That's how I feel, with the, at least the way I see the show. And that's why I said that. Yeah. Katuwaan lang ito. Let's okay. talk about love, you know, in the context of <laughs> some excess. Okay. You dated heart, Evangelista. Uh, briefly, yeah. Briefly, yeah. kumusta yun? It was fun. It was very, she was very sweet, yeah. Uh, I, very, very briefly lang naman, yeah. One distinct, uh, you know, trait, characteristic that you noticed about heart. <laughs> Isa lang. What's the proper term? What's the proper term? Uh, how do you say that? When, when, when you're looking at a person, tapos she looks so perfectly put together, but yeah. then she's got this like side of her that's like she, you don't. She doesn't really expose at all. I, I just felt like that about her. Ah. She she had like this side of her that's kind of not. I don't know what the right term is. I don't I say that. Eh, but I know what you're yeah, talking about. Yeah. Uh -uh. Yeah. Ano na ang stado? Nang, I, I know you spoke about this very openly in the past. Mm. Uh, say Alex, Alessandro. Oh, yeah. I, uh, have you spoken to no, each other? No, I haven't spoken to each other since. Because I know I heard you say that uh, you, know, you wanted to fix things, yeah, you I wanted to, to apologize to properly. Yeah. Yeah. So, hindi mo pa nagagawa yun. No. But yeah, no, uh, no. Wala, kang, wala kang sense or uh, gut you know, that tells you that she is willing to talk to you. W I, I hope so. Parang, You're I, hoping I, that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm, I wasn't a very good person also back then, eh, so I wouldn't be surprised. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anong ibig I wasn't a very good person? I wasn't in a good place. Then. I was okay. taking care of my mental and physical self, health. Okay. And okay. Um, life was kind of hard on me at that time. And I think 
I wasn't mature enough to handle my to handle it mature uh, like healthily so I would like probably naging punching bag kasi si eh, si, uh, si Alex this was during the time my dad had just passed away mm. she was helping me guide through the whole the whole she was there the whole time as in the day that I found out that the matai si dad she was right beside me yeah so okay. punching bag not mm. literally no no hindi okay. naman mean, ganun para lang claro emotional oh. lang kasi nga hindi wala sa tama yung pag-iisip na yung tao eh depressed right. um, all this tapos yung taong yung, yung kaiisang taong tumutulong sa siya na nababalingan ng sungit oh. right it, it was unfair to her um, ah, it's completely unfair yeah. yes oo do you again look for relationships uh, okay I, i'll put it this way um diretso na ito the last uh, the last lady yes. that you were associated with uh, that you had I think a relationship with yes. was Anika. Yes, we were together for seven years. Yeah. So yeah. we were. We were. So we, we kayo. Yeah, we broke oh, okay. up a little after pandemic. Oh, yeah. Right. When you were talking about my, okay. No, it's okay. Right. Um, I love. I thought I was gonna marry Anika. Honestly, we. Mm. I really thought I was gonna marry her, but let's just say that again, it's it's. I'm only half of the story. And so I can't just like talk about this, but let's just basically what happened was Annika and I found ourselves in a place where space, time was the best thing for the both of us. She was going through some stuff and the best thing for her was to change the environment and that's what she did. She went to Sweden and she went back to Sweden and then she found a job there outside the industry which was also one of the reasons which was troubling her. And me, on the other hand, it was pandemic, it was, we weren't working, my daughter needed to be in school. It, it wasn't okay, and that hit me emotionally and in turn affected me psychologically. So we thought that the best thing to do, because I, I love Annika up to now, but I would rather see her fly and soar than to be with me today miserable. and miserable. That's not fun. Wow. Yeah. Thank you for your trust. <laughs> that was the whole story. I know. Maraming maraming salamat. Uh, and my um, pleasure. So now we have another two hours to do this. <laughs> A whole evening, if we could. From acting to uh, love life. Yeah, yeah. No, but congratulations again. I mean, invite everybody to support you dito sa uh, Love Before Sunrise. Everybody, uh, my name is Indocero and I am... With all my heart, inviting you to continue watching Love Before Sunrise. This is at 8.30, 8.30 in the evening, from Monday to Fridays. And to those who have been waiting, I think next week, I'm in, next Friday. So this is going to be fun. We poured our whole heart and souls into this project, I promise you. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, here's the thing. Meron po kaming ipapakita sa inyong clip mula po sa Love for Sunrise. Hindi pa po ito lumalabas. This is a very short scene uh, kung saan makikita natin si Roald at saka si Stella. This is, you know, a confrontation scene uh, we, between Bea and uh, Sid and Timmy. Uh, titingnan natin at saka gagawin namin ni Sid at tingnan nyo kung sino ho ang mas magaling sa amin ni Bea. That's because I arrived when I did. Ikaw, lalita ko ng kahit ko. Di mali ba natin kung anong kinagawa niyong dalawa, di ba? Sinabi ko na sa'yo, di ba wala akong nararamdaman para kay Ato? I saw you, Stella! Okay, okay. Tumihin ako sa kanya once or twice. Tumihin din ako kay Max. Tumihin din ako sa ibang bisita. Bakit yun walang mali siya sa'yo? Wow. <laughs> Nakatayo ka dun sa likod. Mukhang tatayo ako. ako. <laughs> Sorry. Ako nakaupo. Okay. Four, three, two, one. Ako daw ang director din. Action! That's because I arrived early, Stella. Mali ba natin kung anong mangyayari sa'yo kung anong ginagawa niyo kung bigla ako nang... If I arrive later than usual. Sinabi ko naman sa'yo, wala akong nararamdaman kay Atom. But I saw you, Stella! Okay, okay. Tumingin ako sa kanya once or twice. Tumingin din ako kay Max. Tumingin din ako sa mga ibang bisita. Bakit yun? Wala kang mali siya. Bakit yun? Wala kang mali siya. Wala kang mali siya. <laughs> you practiced that so well. No, I was reading it. <laughs> I forgot my lines. <laughs> I was reading it. <laughs>
Ah, uh, Timmy, salamat. Salamat. No, thank, thank you very thank much. You, thank I'm, you. Really, I'm really so thank happy. So much. Maraming thank maraming you. salamat. <laughs> At sa inyong lahat, maraming salamat. Bea, patawarin mo ako. <laughs> Nay, tay, kapuso. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagpapapasok sa amin. Sa inyong mga tahanan at sa inyong mga puso araw-araw. Just one isa lang. Do one good thing a day. And let's make this world a better place. Talk to you again. Goodbye for now. And God bless.